Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to share a story of my a friend who was on uh, this particular ship and uh, was involved in a collision accident due to which he had to abandon the ship. A truly scary story and I thought I wanted to share it with you because there are some important lessons to be learned here for all mariners. Uh, this ship uh, was a Vanuatu flagged vessel. It was an undersea cable and pipe laying ship and it capsized in the Indonesian waters of the Singapore Straits after a collision with a tanker. Uh, there were no fatalities. Uh, however, let's get to know why this accident happened. So as you know, probably the Singapore Straits is one of the world's busiest shipping zones uh, with hundreds of ships, container ships, oil, fuel tankers, bulk carriers. They are continuously traversing these waters because the Singapore Straits kind of connect uh, Asia to Europe, India and Africa. Now this collision happened just north of Bintan, an Indonesian island uh, in the Riau Islands province that sits opposite the city-state of Singapore. Um, what happened was that the offshore and pipe laying cable vessel, uh, she was actually at anchorage in these waters. And the Panamax tanker vessel uh, just could not control her maneuvering and came and T-boned, like hit it right in the beam of this vessel because of which uh, this vessel slowly had a structural failure and slowly started taking water in it. Uh, it initially did not sink completely. However, the Coast Guard vessels were monitoring the ship. Uh, the crew had to be abandoned. Uh, the crew had to abandon the ship and they were rescued by the Singaporean authorities. Uh, that was a massive tanker vessel and the, um, the tanker vessel uh, could not maneuver the vessel properly and although the pipe laying and offshore cable vessel was at anchorage it was of no fault of hers this tanker Panamax huge container vessel just came and t-boned her uh, because of which uh, the crew from the offshore vessel had to abandon the ship and this is where the uh, it occurred I'll show you the geographic location as well and the tanker vessel also immediately developed a list I'll show you a photograph vessel as well. This is the situation. This is the uh, location where the vessel actually sank. It was of course, um, uh, these details are there online. So it's not that I'm divulging anything which is not there. It is already there online. And uh, you can see that uh, the damages that was sustained by the offshore vessel uh, was very heavy because an offshore vessel in size, it is not that big. And uh, Panamax contain a Panamax tanker vessel coming and hitting it. Um, um, due to even with its uh, slowest momentum would cause heavy danger, heavy damage to this vessel. Uh, even the tanker vessel, as you can see, this was the tanker vessel when it was in, uh, in good condition. But after the collision, the tanker vessel also started to take in lots of water. Uh, the lesson I want to teach you guys here is that uh, even though you are on anchor, you might be in anchor or you might your vessel might be anchored, that does not absolve you of the responsibility or duty of keeping an eye out for other vessels. Uh, you know, sometimes there's not much you can do, but if you start sounding the warning signals, uh, you might be at anchor. That doesn't mean that your ship is safe. So I thought I will share this case study because my friend was on this ship. He had to abandon the ship and it was quite a scary experience and scary story for him as well. Uh, but the lesson I feel uh, we can all learn from here is that even if we are at anchor, uh, that doesn't mean our ship is safe. Uh, we should still keep an eye out for other vessels which are not probably doing a good job of uh, keeping watch or maneuvering it correctly and maybe a warning signal uh, would have uh, helped or um, the offshore cable if it had gone a warning they could have had some time to heave up the anchor and move away or uh, maneuver away from the impact of the tanker vessel so just a short case study guys uh, not much to share here but something that i think we can learn we forget when we are at anchor um, i thought i'll recap this for you guys let me know uh, if you are interested in any more of these kind of stories. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.